Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Right, today I'm going to be looking at the Engui L20 Fat Tire E-Bike. Now this is a, a brand new model from Engui, it's literally just been released and it's now available online. It costs, I believe, £1,199. Now I'll tell you a little bit about the bike. It's obviously got 20 inch by 4 inch fat tyres. It's a utility e-bike, obviously it's got a step through frame. And you've got a substantial rack at the back and a rack at the front. Now the rear rack I believe is a 25 kilo carrying capacity and the front rack I think is 13 kilos. Now I'll tell you a little bit about the specifications. It's a 250 watt hub motor although I do believe going by the performance so far it's probably a 750 watt motor that's been downgraded. So it's a 48 volt 250 watt rear hub motor. It has a 48 volt 13 amp hour battery which is here and it can be removed it uses cadence pedal assist so obviously it's got quite an on off feel to it it has mechanical disc brakes which are okay i mean they're quite noisy typical mechanical disc brakes really but yeah so far i've done i've done about 10 miles on the bike so far and i've just lost one bar off the battery so that's not too bad it's a comfortable bike Obviously with the low step frame design it's, it's going to be very easy to get on and off the bike especially if you've got mobility issues. As far as performance is concerned the motor is very powerful. It certainly feels more powerful than, than, a, than a standard 250 watt motor. I mean I've just done about, I've probably done about 800 feet of elevation gain to get out here and it absolutely destroys the hills. No problem at all getting up the hills. One thing I do find with it obviously being an EU specified model, the US version it would be 750 watts and it would be obviously unrestricted to 28 miles an hour. Being the UK and EU version, this is obviously limited to 25 kilometers an hour or 15.5 miles an hour. Now I've already had a look at the advanced settings on the display and you can quite easily remove that speed limit if you wish. Being a heavy bike, it does weigh 32 kilos. As soon as the electric cuts off, it does feel like you're pedalling a tractor basically. It's a utility e-bike and this e-bike's going to be ideal for somebody, you know, if you want to go shopping, you don't necessarily want to get a workout. You just want to get to the shops, get your shopping and come back again. If you want to get to work and you don't want to arrive in a sweaty mess, you just want to stick it in high power, get to work as quick as possible and get home as quick as possible. And for that purpose, a bike like the Engui L20 is going to be absolutely fine. Like I've said, it's very comfortable. I mean, like I said, I've done I've done nine or ten miles so far, no discomfort at all. It's got these nice aluminium sort of high-rise handlebars, which which put your hands in a very natural natural position. I've certainly had no pins and needles or discomfort in that respect, and. I think it looks nice as well, I, I, particularly in this avocado green. I think it looks, it's a really nice looking bike. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around quickly, just show you some of the components. Right, there's a pannier rack. As you can see, it's, it's quite a heavy duty rack, quite substantial. Right, there is the 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery. We've got these nice Welgo pedals. Very nice, comfortable saddle. And as you can see, the frame is finished off really nicely. Right, we've got a front suspension fork, which I believe can be adjusted for preload. It's a basic coil sprung suspension fork. And it can be locked out as well. There we go, we've got a front and rear light. Metal mud guards, single chainring up front with a seven speed Shimano Tourney derailleur at the back. All very standard equipment on a bike of this kind, and we've also got a rear light as well, which I believe doubles up as a brake light. It's quite a nice display actually. Not too great in the sunlight, in direct sunlight it's a bit difficult to see, but it's um, it's okay now. There we go, so I've done 10.9 miles according to the trip. 
You've got five levels of assist. Level four is, I would say, is a sweet spot. I certainly wouldn't want to be using this bike in anything below level four. And level five, it really does start to pop along at a good pace at level five, you know. But obviously, without the assist activated, it's very difficult to pedal. It feels very heavy. I struggle like hell to pedal it without the assist activated. So it's a kind of bike you'd want to use it with the assist. Right, so I'm going to show you how the pedal assist works on the Engui L20. Right, so we got it set in level one. Let's start pedaling. That's it. Got no assist anymore, so it, it it seems a bit pointless. It kind of gets you off, it gets you off the starting blocks, and then it stops again. Right, let's show you level two. Again, that's it. Right, level three. Now level three is actually okay. But again, it tends to stop at around eight or nine miles an hour. But level three will get will get you up most hills. Right, we'll go to level four. All right, level four seems to cut out at 12 miles an hour. All right, finally, Level five. Level five will take you up to the maximum speed you have the assisted speed set to. Now, obviously, I have this one set to 28 kilometers an hour, which is about 18 miles an hour. So level five will take you up to whatever, whatever maximum speed you set. Anyway, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do a brake test. Now, obviously, the Engui L20 does have mechanical disc brakes. So far, the performance has been okay. They are a little noisy, as expected. But I'm just going to get it up to about 18, 20 miles an hour and do an emergency stop as soon as it's safe to do so. Right, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, well, that was okay. This is my one of my local hills. It's uh, very short. Well, actually, it's not that short. It's about half a mile, but it's uh, it's incredibly steep. Gets up to 20% towards the end. So I'm going to leave it in level four, and we shall see how it goes. Well, so far, seems to be doing okay. That's the first steep bit out of the way. The Engui L20 does have a, a strong motor, that's for sure. Well, I'm certainly not struggling. My heart rate's usually up in the 160s when I ride this on a regular bike. Gradient's at currently about 5%. We're just coming up to the steep bit. This is where it gets interesting.
It's doing level four. That's the worst of it over. Anyway, that's the hill climb test done. Yeah, it performed okay actually. Heart rate barely got above 100 BPM. Had to put in a little bit more effort towards the end when it got steep, but yeah, the Engway L20 has passed the hill climb test. Right, I'm gonna wrap this up now. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the Engwe L20. It's not a bad e-bike actually. It's got a lot going for it. It's very comfortable. The motor, although it is rated to 250 watts according to the specs, does feel a lot more powerful. So one thing to bear in mind is it is very difficult to pedal without the assist. So if you're after an e-bike that you can just pedal with or without the assist, it's not going to be for you. As far as battery range is concerned, I've done 12 miles now and it's dropped another bar off the battery. So I'm down to three bars out of five. And we do say this will give you a hundred kilometer range, which I would say is unlikely. It's not going to be practical to use in level one. It's not going to really be practical to use in anything below level three, in my opinion. And you're going to get through the battery a lot quicker and you're not going to be doing that kind of mileage. I, I, I would say based on my initial test route, I will put the final mileage up on the screen and how much battery I actually used. But I would say for a battery of this kind, being a heavy bike, you're going to rely on the assist more. I'd say a realistic range is probably going to be in the 40 mile region, maybe 35 to 40 miles. So yeah, I think if you're after a bike to get you from A to B, maybe you're after a bike for commuting or to do shopping, a bike to replace a car for, sh for shorter journeys, it's well worth considering. And I'd certainly have no, no trouble in recommending it for those purposes. But if, if you're after an e-bike that you can pedal without the assist from time to time, I would say you definitely want to be looking for something a lot lighter. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this review useful. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be doing some more content in the future. And I'm also going to be doing a video on the pros and cons of fat tire e-bikes. Um, which will be, uh, I'll give you my honest opinion on fat tire e-bikes and what I think of them. Okay, see you later guys.